Hey guys, I'm Blair. I'm here with Marie Provenzano. She has a lifestyle blog that's amazing from scratch with Maria. <laughs> and uh, we just filmed a YouTube for you guys on eyebrows and how to get them done. I've been doing her brows for a year or two now yep. and just shaping them and getting them right where we want to be. And so we... You know, it was a process. It was a process. It was a process. I'm terrible at doing my own eyebrows, so Blair has saved me. But you know, half of the process is also filling them in. So that's what we wanted to do for you guys today. And so you can catch it um, on my channel and Maria's channel, and all the details will be below the products that we used. So we would love for you guys to check it out. All right, hey you guys. So we have done one of Maria's eyebrows, uh, the left one, beautiful polished, manicured the way we like it. And we are gonna show you guys how to do the right one now. So the first product we're gonna use for Maria is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite products. It's got a little bit of a waxiness in the pencil, which is what gives it kind of like the density look that we want. Um, so I almost start with an outline for her. So I'm actually gonna start on the corner and start at the peak of her brow, which is the arch. And I'm gonna do little strokes down. You still wanna have a light hand because you don't wanna to look too fake in the brow. I always have the spoolie and actually um, this Anastasia um, product has a spoolie at the end of it. I just like to be really quick with it. So, but at home. The spoolie's the little brush. Spoolie's a little brush. Yep. And I use it to hold up the hairs like so, just to get in those spots. You can see a huge difference between the one that's done and the one that is not done. I feel like brows completely finish a look. Absolutely. If I don't have brows done, I feel like I, I don't know, I just don't look right. <laughs> Absolutely. I 100% agree. I like to look at the shape and kind of imagine, you know, where I want to start, what's going to be my highest point, and how far I want it to go. So you can do the measuring technique. Okay. Um, I also just look at the holes. So for this part, it's more getting the holes You're together. You're filling in. Okay. I'm just filling in. So now I'm going to take a Mac 266 brush, which is their angled <laughs> one, and then I'm going to use. My favorite palette, I'm gonna use the taupe color on her. Again, because I don't wanna use a color that's too dark on her, you guys, because it already looks dark and this is a lighter color. So you always wanna choose a color lighter than the color of their brow. You can always add more, right? Always add more. So now I'm just kinda of going over what I did just to make sure everything's full looking. I kind of push up the hairs. The end, I'm gonna set it because actually what I like is for the hairs to kind of be combed up. I feel like it has a little bit more of a youthful look than all combed over. Obviously there will be certain sections that you want to come over, but just in general. So just filling it in and now I'm gonna brush it through and then look at it again. See where I need to fill in more. And it's just brushing and playing with it and seeing, you know, where the hairs lie that looks good. You want to always step back once you're done with one because even though I made this one look how I want it to look, I also have to make sure that it's even with Matches the, the other brow. And so the line underneath is not perfect right now, you guys, and I know that. So what I'm going to do, put just a little bit of powder in. <laughs> So you add, is the powder sort of like what finishes it yes. a little bit, like sets it? Yeah, and okay. it's also what makes it maybe look a little bit more natural. Okay. So you don't just see those little lines. Is I'm gonna take a little bit of a concealer, or a, I like the highlighter, the Touche Cloth. It's that highlighter that we used on her, you guys. And then I'm just using a concealer brush with a little bit of highlighter. And I kind of just go over those areas really lightly that I want just to look a little sharper. And even if you do already have eyeshadow on, it's okay to do this afterwards. Just make sure you blend it. I'm gonna blend it with a Sigma um, 3D Precision brush. It's just got 
a good sharp end to it that I can really blend without it ruining my lines in the brow. I'm gonna use a clear gel from Anastasia, my fave. Um, you know, you can use color gel, but sometimes I just feel like the clear is the safest. Yeah. If you don't have time, then sure, you can probably use the, um, um, is this almost like hairspray for your eyebrows? Yes. Okay. So an alternate would be clear um, mascara, or if you even get like crazy desperate, you're in a hotel somewhere and you only have your toothbrush and hairspray. You can do that? <laughs> you can do that. Wow. I know. That is the tip of the day. Right? Toothbrush and hairspray. Toothbrush and hairspray. Look completed, two brows, it kind of just opens up her face a little bit more, gives her a little bit more definition. <laughs> so we hope you guys learned so much from this video. I know I did. I, I know I help. did. <laughs> I always need help filling in my eyebrows. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and Blair's channel. All of the information will be in the description box below, including all of the information on the products that Blair used on my eyebrows. So thanks guys and we'll thanks see you guys. next time.